muckers and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all having the best day ever. Thank you so much for clicking on my video today. I really appreciate you being here and I'm very excited to talk about today's video because something really big has happened which is the Trishy Land subreddit on Reddit has been taken down. Now if you are not aware of what the Trishy Land subreddit is, oh my god you are blessed, but it is, Reddit is a social media forum. It's almost like Twitter. It's you probably know Reddit, and if you don't, then you're like me a couple months ago whenever I discovered it for the first time, and I was like, oh, this, what is this? But basically, there's different subreddits on it, which is like different communities of people. Kind of like the Muckers Facebook group, which you can join down below for free. It's literally just like our community. And um, if you go request to join, I will accept you. It's really fun over there. We're talking about this right now. There's big trending topics about this over there. And also, my second channel is linked down below. Wow, I did that segue, actually. Quite well today. Anyway, so the subreddit for Trishy Land was like a community of Trisha Paytas haters. Like, didn't like Trisha Paytas. It started as people trying to like call her out, and then kind of the more it went on, the more it got more and more more directed hate. And I I think that most of the members of Trishy Land will say that you know we're we're just trying to call her out, and we're just trying to you know deplatform her because she's done so many bad things or whatever like that. A lot of the posts on there are mainly talking about like her looks and there are posts on there that were talk sorry were talking about things that she's done why she needs to be called out but a lot of the posts did start to get you know just making fun of Trisha and just making fun of Moses or whatever. Um, so Trisha uploaded a video today kind of celebrating the fact that this page got taken down because obviously this page had like 50,000 members I think which is insane like one of the biggest subreddits for like a youtuber ever and keep in mind this was not like a positive hate forum or positive hate forum this was not a positive page this was basically a hate forum this was a snark page. So for Trisha, this is great news because again, this page also had, along with all of the like hate on there, it had, you know, compiled lists of like her lies. It had, you know, compiled lists of really offensive jokes she's made. It had compiled lists of diff just different things throughout her entire career. And it really was like a time capsule showing all of the bad things Trisha's done on the internet. And it was like an easy way for people to reference like why people do not like Trisha Paytas. So when the page got taken down today, it was like a really, really, really big thing. Trisha has kind of hinted about Trishy Land in the past, but she's never outright spoken about it. And there's a lot to get to in this video. So I just finished watching it and I'm going to watch it again with you. Normally I watch it for the first time, but I did want to hear what she had to say initially. I also was just very interested. And I have a couple things to say before we get into the video. So as I acknowledged, the Trishy Land subreddit, first of all, they don't like me over there. So I don't, I don't need to, you know... In any way, I could come on here and just shit talk the Trishy Land subreddit because they had so many posts on there that were just calling me and my friends out. So, I mean, fuck y'all. Like, I really don't give a shit. Um, but the Trishy Land subreddit, like I said, did kind of begin as a way of... It started basically really heavily after Frenemies. Sorry, I have a cat hair right here and it's really pissing me off. Um, and I just washed my face so it's like sticking to me. Oof. Um, so basically this page really did start as a way of after Frenemies, that's when it got its boost, showing all of the problematic things she's done, calling her out, then it kind of turned into more of a snark page, and then it kind of turned into more of a hate page. That's not taking away from the fact that they were posting a lot of things that were showing why Trisha should be cancelled, or why they think she shouldn't have a platform, or whatever. But it would be idiotic to not acknowledge that a lot of the posts did just turn into making fun of her. And also, they were uploading her videos, they were uploading, they were literally downloading her YouTube videos, downloading her TikToks, and just putting them on there, which, by the way, is, it is kind of illegal as well to do that because you're then taking away some of her income, and, you know, they were basically posting it there to be like, let's not give her views, let's not give her money, but we'll still snark her over here. That is illegal, and Trisha could have sued them for defamation, making the, her lose money, and she's not suing... And she also addresses in this video that people were lying and saying that she was suing a bunch of people. The bunch of people was like me and Peter Mann and stuff. And if you remember from whenever I was in LA, I was calling that out as fake from the get-go. And so was Peter Mann as well, where it was basically just like a couple drama channels were, you know, trying to get some videos in like a really dry month spell of drama. And they were like, Trisha's suing us. And then there was like a bunch of small drama channels that were like fueling it with evidence. It was a full mess. But I want to get to a couple points before we get to this video. So... Trisha mentions that the main reason this page got taken down was because of copyright infringement, which I completely understand. And actually, she's completely warranted for taking this page down because they were uploading her videos and she was losing income because of them. 
Another thing is she addresses that there was a journalist that wrote an article basically calling for Trishy Land to be taken down because it was very like harassment-y. Um, that journalist is Kat Tenbarge, who's my friend. And uh, basically she speaks about the fact that she doesn't like Kat. She doesn't mention her by name, but we know it's Kat. She doesn't like Kat because Kat wrote an article like a year ago that was really not painting Trisha in the best light, was what she was saying. Now this article was um, Kat calling Trisha out for all of her anti-Semitic comments. And Trisha basically says that the, the journalist was making an article out of nothing and was trying to set her up to look like someone she wasn't, you know, was taking her jokes out of context. And, you know, everything was made in good fun. And I, I wrote this in a text to my mother, but I said, um, it doesn't matter if Trisha was uh, saying jokes with good intentions about Jewish people. It's still bad and it's still anti-Semitic. And also there were so many moments where she would just refer, refer sorry, to Ethan as a uh, G when talking about money. So I really don't care if she has good intentions when she's making these jokes. It is anti-Semitic and she is. And if it's not, and if she's making an argument, you know, they're in good faith, then it's, you're, are you agreeing that you're fetishizing it? So she says that, which I don't agree with. And she kind of paints Kat in a bad light, which people like to do all the time, whatever. It's, you know, their own prerogative, the same way people could do it about me or Peter Mon or Rich Lux or whatever. We're on the internet, we get it. But I didn't like the Trisha light about that. Also, Trisha says that um, one of the main reasons she wanted this page taken down was because the, the page were harassing her baby. And this is very shocking to hear, obviously. She says that they were, you know, posting pictures of the baby, making fun of the baby, and that they were making fun of the baby's birthmark and all these very shocking things, right? One thing I do need to say is someone who's a drama channel who was frequent, I frequently look on the H3 subreddit, I looked on the Trishy Land subreddit, it's where a lot of the community from our videos would carry on and sometimes they would start. What I do need to say is I appreciate Trisha making this video and talking about this and I can't imagine the relief she feels when this page is taken down, but I, I also need to address that she is lying about that. Trishy Land actually have rules, sorry, they have rules, and this is me in no way defending them, but I'm just calling out that, you know, Trisha can make a video and it can be a good video talking about this, but she also can be lying in it, which is what she is doing in certain parts. They literally do have rules on Trishy Land that's like, baby Hackman's face must be blurred, any image video containing the child must have their face blurred, posts will be removed, and bans will be issued if you fail to adhere to these rules, which is more than what Trish is doing to protect her baby online, because people, you know, write negative things about her baby on her comment section as well. And, you know, that's just what happens, unfortunately, when you, you know, promote your baby online as basically like a product and showing it around like that. Um, and also there's another rule that says no snarking on baby Hackman. We're not here to pick on Trisha's kid. We're here to discuss Trisha. Please be incredibly mindful of the words you use. So again, I'm not saying that in any way to defend Trisha land, but all I'm saying is Trisha says that they would, you know, post pictures and make fun of it. Sorry, her. Um, that from what I'm seeing in the rules, that would not happen. Again, maybe it did. I don't know. I wasn't looking that closely, but I mean, it's literally in the rules. And then second, she said that people would upload pictures of um, her baby making fun of the fact she had a birthmark. And whenever I looked into this, I actually didn't find any evidence of that other than them posting blurred pictures of the baby, except for like the forehead showing or maybe the cheek showing or whatever like that from in the video. And then on an Instagram photo that Trisha uploaded and it would be like showing that Trisha was like photoshopping or face chinning her baby. That was the only time ever that I saw things about the birthmark being addressed. And also I, a lot of people are saying that is Trisha saying that the snark were making fun of her baby's looks because they were blurring the baby's face. No, they were doing that to like not put the baby's face online. So I, I did just want to address those things first. Listen, I completely, I'm hearing Trisha out on this video. As someone who makes videos, I understand what it feels like for people not to like you. I completely get it. Um, but I did just want to address those couple things before we get into the video because they were like standout points that I wanted to address first. But anyway, let's get into this video. So she, it is titled, It's Finally Over, Now I Can Talk About It. Here we go. Okay, so I just need to make up for my ASMR channel. I'm having a little sugar cookie iced latte. From Starbucks, not the holiday drinks are back. Trying to get my new iPhone situated. The vibe. Um... I like transition phones, but now I'm about to wave my hair because I'm going to start filming today. I've already been filming a little bit today, but obviously for today's not. <sighs> but I wanted to talk about this, and I was like, kind of debating if I should because today, what is today's date? November 4th, is like a day that I'm very grateful for. 
I always have a gratitude and being thankful for things. And rather than focus on negative, I always choose to focus on like the positive. I'm gonna start like waving my hair while I'm doing this. Let me go on. Um, By the way, know. sorry. Before I get into this, I know I've already said that I I don't mean this to sound off for the Trisha Lynn subreddit because I hate the Trisha Lynn subreddit and I fucking despise them. But I hope that didn't come across as me in any way defending them. All I'm saying is that Trisha can make a video that I support and I can still call it ironic moments in it or um, hypocrisy moments in it. Um, I do not like the Trisha Lance subreddit. My point in saying all of that was literally just to point out inconsistencies or, or maybe challenge things that Trisha's saying um, because I think otherwise I would just be sitting here and being like, yep, 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 great video from Trisha, which again, you know, I can hear her out and agree with her in points, and I can also disagree with her in points. I just don't think that anyone should really be showing their baby online, and that's kind of where I stand on that, so. But, let's say, the Trisha Land subreddit, we've talked about this before, have crossed so many lines when it comes to Trisha, and just in general. I don't use anymore. I used to Loading can be kind of unbecoming. Oh, wow. I look very filled into Jesus. Trisha learned the word unbecoming a couple months ago, and I think she's used it in every video I've seen ever since. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I'm making me look like this. I swear my... It's small combination. Anyways. My eyes are Um. So, guys, I try to focus on negative. I don't even know what I'm doing, so please don't follow my tutorial on how to do this, because I'm wondering. But, um, I'm just going to wave in my hair, I guess. Let me just put you to a piece. I have no idea what she's doing with her hair this entire video. This, like, like continues the entire some video. Some people may be aware, some people may not be aware. But a lot of people, enough people are aware. I had a really vicious hate subreddit dedicated to me. Vicious. Vile. Not only was it just super invasive, like, they would literally post, like, it's public record, so it's not, like, it's not that big of a deal, it's just more creepy. This subreddit, first and foremost, I should preface all this by saying today, well, today, the subreddit was taken down, which is really big because I only got introduced to Reddit sometime last year. I didn't know it existed. As hate Reddit, Reddit existed, um, started last year. I, last year, obviously, I got, like, it's not just hate online, right? Like, you, you post videos, you expect to get people to, like, hate on you or whatever, you know, like, part of, part of it, right? But these people go, like, went other levels. They were digging up so much personal information, not just on us, but people that were, like, associated with us in our lives. And I'll tell you, like, the most recent example is they're so obsessive, right? They were posting, like, which hospital I gave birth. My doctor's information, they would see, like, like, they would zoom into, like, my, um, ultrasounds and like they, they, they would when i was first announcing that i was going to the big post the name of that when i first seen fertility treatments they were calling every infertility center in my area and telling them like you know don't don't help this person reproduce like for real posting phone numbers of other people to like i also can confirm that there were a lot of people on the trisha on subreddit whenever trisha was um staying in I can't remember where it was, but her and Moses were honeymooning. Do you remember in, like, the underwater hotel? And a lot of people were um, trying to call up the hotel to say that her and Moses were filming um, porn there because they were trying to get her arrested because um, that's illegal there. So, was it? I'm not going to say the country in case I'm wrong. But, yeah, there there would be many moments of that where, like, there were people on that subreddit. And, I mean, of course there's going to be. If there's a subreddit, it's, like, 50,000 people. Like, there's many you know people on it but like that was um something that happened as well which i don't think she mentioned but sponsors and like, don't don't support this person whatever okay fine but like calling doctors like telling them to like not work on me like not help me conceive like other level stuff to up to like when i gave birth I mean, they were so long but like oh she's not even pregnant like trying to like i mean the stuff they would just post was like so crazy and, like, scary, honestly scary, because, again, they were calling, like, my doctors and stuff like that. Um, like, the most recent is this thing with, like, oh, she, like, they just want, they, like, have such evil eye, right? Like, I, Hamza, 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 like, you know, I ward off an evil eye, and I do think it helps, but, um, like, they just want so bad for me to, like, fall. So they would be, like, now I see the Reddit was taken down, obviously, and I still get hate on Twitter from them, because it's, like, the same rhetoric, right? So I'm, like, kind of, like, shaken by it. But then they'd be like, oh, like you can't even afford to pay your property taxes. You guys, my property taxes, like, this is how crazy. It's public record, whatever. My property taxes due for next year, like, the, the due date was November 1st. It's November 4th right now. And it doesn't become delinquent until after December 12th. We sent the check in, whatever. It obviously hasn't been processed yet. And that's just for the first half of our payments for next year for our property taxes. It was due November 1st. They looked up online, whatever. It's November 4th. They posted about it November 2nd. Like, pay your property taxes. Like, now we're not going to have a... Well, like, like, <laughs> listen, a that's weird as well. And I mean... There are, like, drama videos, and I think I've even talked about it on Twitter whenever people have, like, raised my attention, or raised to my attention, where it's like, oh, like, 
Trisha's like not paying for a mention or whatever like that. And like a one-off comment and stuff like that, it's like, you know, can be like you're addressing it. Like if one of us of the drama community or one of us of the journalists or commentary space are like, oh, that's weird. Like, is she not paying like her, you know what I mean? But to keep on her ass about it, like you're late on your payment, you're late on your payment, you're late in your payment. It's like, wow, those are conversations I have with like my accountant and like y'all on Reddit are keeping up with it. So I can only imagine how frustrating it was. Like make fun of my child. Like it, it was so scary and so insane. And like, it was crazy. And I would report to Reddit every day because not only did I not consent to have my child's face on Reddit where they literally just bash her and say, like, it's like, insane. Like, disgusting i mean there are people on reddit that were like it's also important to note that the child's face was never shown on reddit it was always blurred i'm not standing up for them but all i'm saying is that normally these snarks are very they they don't fuck around with that and that goes for any subreddit normally they have really strict rules about child safety something trisha doesn't have on her own social medias but we'll not go there so Someone calling Dior to see if they sent me a baby gift. Like, literally, there's a video of someone from the Trisha Lynn being like, calling, hi, do you give out, would you like send gifts to uh, clients? Like, is that something you guys would do? Like, just a customer service number. I'm like, it's like scary. Like, scary. I posted like a little pencil outline of our nursery early on, and they're like p putting all the pieces together. Oh, we know. Oh, they thought they knew Malibu. They're like, oh, we know the name's gonna be Malibu. Like, as if it was like some big secret. I talked about the name Malibu literally 10 years of my, like, 10 years of being on YouTube, or 10 to 16 years of being on YouTube. I've always talked about that name. I mean, they're obviously like followers, like they're people who watch every move. But like the negativity name was crazy. Well, and it's I know it's hard to get. First of all, Reddit should be more monitored because I would report for like the bullying and harassment because they say they don't tolerate it. But like they were literally bullying my child for like having a birthmark. Like it's insane. They're they're. It was crazy. Again, I don't know what she's referring to when she says that because the baby's face was always blurred, but. They there was posts that I did see where they would compare side by side pictures from videos and pictures, and they were accusing Trisha of basically like face chinning um Malibu Barbie, um and her birthmark. That's really the only things I've seen. Again, in no way I'm really not choosing like I'm not saying this to choose anyone's side, but all I'm saying is like I'm trying to come at this from like the fairest point of view. Like I'm hearing what Trisha says. I've always I've seen a lot of the Trisha Lamb posts. I don't know what she's referring to there. If someone can enlighten me and show me, I would appreciate it. But sorry, I'm like shaking because like it's been such like this battle, right? Like last year, there's just like just an unwarranted amount of hate. Like I understand like hating on me, hating for my actions, whatever. But like digging into like Moses's personal like life and past and all that, and, like reaching out to people that are like connected to us from like literally like 15 years ago. It was like so scary. It's it's, it's, it's like scary is what it is because it's just it's never ending. They're posting my like where my child was going home for my our daughter, but like the schools around us. Um, they're like contacting, like it was, it was insane that I was on for that long. And I reported every day for that, especially when my child was born. I was like, okay, like I do post to my daughter online, but I do not consent for my daughter to be posted on like a hate Reddit. Like that's insane. Try to contact my lawyers because like, and, and, and lawyers are expensive. I am the last person. I don't see people. Like, there was a I think we're, I think Trisha is seeing what happens. And again, this is in, I don't mean this like, can we just have a conversation here? This is why you don't post your child online. And like, to this extent, like every single day, a new video, every single angle, seeing what the child's doing, whatever like that. There are bad people on the internet. And this is the case from when YouTube had to literally demonetize family channels and literally had to um, ban commenting on videos that show children because this happens. And unfortunately, you take the risk of bad people commenting on your child if you're exploiting your child that am I online and that's not I don't mean that to shame Trisha I just mean that in terms of nobody should be doing it no no child that young entire life should be on the internet you are you are putting your child at risk and do I think that that is equally as your fault as what it is the people who would possibly be writing snarky things I'm sorry shit me but yes you both have a responsibility not to be writing shit about children online and not to be putting your child in a position when you know that you're already not liked. Or if you're just a family channel that, you know, everyone loves, blah, 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 like that. There's still risks of people. You don't know what kind of people are watching those videos. There are so many family channels on this platform that their most viewed videos have to do with their child's vulnerable moments. 
There's a channel I won't even fucking name, but they're a family channel and they're most viewed videos and whenever you type in their name in the, 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 the YouTube bar, the most recommended videos have to do with their younger daughter having her period. So... I hate that this is normalized to like, and how, how many times have I spoken about this now? Like, fuck me. It's expensive, it's hard to like prove anything like defamation. It's like, you know, I just, I really don't, I don't like lawyers, I don't like lawsuits, nothing, but I was like, hey, I, I just need help. Like they're, like, it's scary. It's like scary at this point. And, um, but then, one thing, I guess I read it, and there was even an article, and I never, Tweeted about it. This is from Kat. I focus on negativity. I didn't want to draw attention to this place. Um, by the way, the name Trisha Lane, like, I own the URLs. Like, that was, like, my Patreon for so long. I had merch. Like, they, like, weren't creative at all. But anyways, um, I just didn't talk about it. Again, I don't like to focus on negativity. And I started to feel helpless. I was like, okay, there's nothing I can do. Like, they're just, they're just going to do this. Like, I don't know. I don't know what. But one thing, apparently, they do take seriously over there. More than literally posting a newborn. And, like, they think I'm a newborn. Um, or even, like, they were putting, like, my family tree. Like, it was crazy. Like, relatives I don't even know. And it was nuts. Is that was crazy. Copyright yeah. infringement, copyright violation. Apparently, something that they do take seriously. And I started recording every single day. He has how many videos I post? Block channel, main channel, ASMR, podcast channel. I have four channels where I post almost every day, if not every other day, between one of the four channels. And I post, I think I 16 videos a week on YouTube between all four of my channels, like maybe 20, like a lot. It's like, it's like crazy how much videos. she works. They would scary rip my videos, like download my videos, not post a link. Because here's the thing at the end of the day, I was like, you know what? If they want to come like here and like Hey, watch me or whatever, fine. Give me those views, do you know what I mean? Because obviously here on YouTube, like, you get money from views. But they would, like, rip it off. So they were doing my TikToks too, which I'm like, I don't know why they do that, because on my TikTok, I always get, like, a lot of views from TikTok. on TikTok, and, like, I feel like the TikTok people just, like, don't really care about Reddit. Um, but they would rip my videos off within an hour and re-upload them to... It was Reddit. really weird. Like, I mean, there, there were so many of them, like, working around the clock on Reddit, uploading her videos, like, literally just like verbatim the entire video and like here it is and and people will be like no i'm not watching your video like i'll wait until blank blank, blank user uploads it and it was like y'all are like so deranged so deranged and that sentiment of if you're gonna hate watch at least hate watch on my channel i mean i agree i agree so i would report it i report all of them and yes it did take a lot of time and i would even be like oh my gosh I should, you should be with your newborn and you're just recording i'm like um, it's like the principle of it, you know what I mean? It really is the principle of it. It's, you know, because, like I said, it's hard to have, like, a lawsuit where you can prove damages. This is, like, something where I can actually prove damages because it's, like... True. She lost money But again, it's more like the principle of it. Like, some of those would have, like, 300 comments and stuff like that. I was like, oh, hell no. Like, if y'all gonna be nasty and hateful, like, y'all can do it individually on my videos, okay? You know what I mean? And I'll just watch. But you're not gonna do it here. And so, I don't know. So, I had to report because if, if you're the owner of your videos, like... I don't mean to be snarky, but is that her saying if you're gonna, like, hate on my child, hate on my child under my comment section? Like... Sorry, I don't mean to be, I'm just... Debating, I feel like kind of weird up here. But these people, it was, it was, it's not, they, they weren't the guys, like, were holding Trisha accountable. It was not. It was making fun of the way my daughter looks. It was, like, finding things that weren't there. They were kind of photoshopping angles. Like, it, it really was just making fun of the way me, my husband, and my baby look. Like, they would take... I can agree and fully stand by the fact that this subreddit was making fun of how Trisha and Moses looked. There's no debating that. There is no debating that. I mean, every single day there was a post about Trisha's fat, Moses fat, like Trisha's ugly, Moses ugly, Trisha's skin, Moses skin, Moses lost it, Moses used to be attractive. Like comparing Trisha's weight from like everything she's saying in this part is a hundred percent true. And it was vital. Like I don't even like want to repeat it. Like the stuff like about like my husband, like the stuff they would say was like insane. And of course they made up a lot of stuff too. Like they made up a ton of stuff, but like it was just making fun of our looks. I'm True. that, Moses is that, like, True. literally, like, oh, wait, sorry, I'm not saying that about them, I'm saying that it's true that people were saying that, oh my god. I had my child taken away because I posted on the internet, like, they were wishing that, she, like, foster care would take her when, like, we're both stay-at-home parents that have good income and, like, don't want her and, like, are with her 24-7, like, it was so, it was scary, it was scary, and, like, I really do feel like they should have, I don't know, I don't know what the, I don't know what the answer is, but, like, posting stuff about a child and, like, doxing, like, just the fact that they can, like, post where I live and my doctor's information, and, like, sometimes Reddit would take it down, so I would report, I would report that. I would send emails. I had, like, three different email addresses for Reddit, which is, like, really hard to find. I had my lawyer send a letter, like, 
again, and I think my lawyer was like, it's hard, right? It's just like a hard thing to navigate. And, um, this is, oh, I was, and I think you mentioned I was going there earlier, but I forgot to say, NBC News, um, so they article. did like, an article about Kishi Man, and it's actually from an author who I've actually talked to on the phone before, a journalist, I should say, who actually wrote a really, like, uh, disparaging article about me last year. It was really awful. Um, accusing me of something really, really terrible of being, um, I don't know if I want to say it. Accusing you of being anti-Semitic, and she provided many instances of you saying things that can be deemed anti-Semitic. I'm not even saying that because she's my friend. And I don't care if you're saying things in good faith or in good intentions. A good intention joke can still be anti-Semitic. So I don't understand this point either. But they kind of just went with the traditional rhetoric of what they were saying and just like spinning it into something that was really gross. And so she reached out to me this year and said, hey, the Trisha Reddit is really bad. I was wondering if you had any comment. I'm going to do a piece on it. And I had no comment. I didn't reply to her because I just, after that article, I was like, I don't really, I don't really, like, respect this. She's but doing nothing like, to her hair right now. It was, she except so for just much, frying she it. She so much information. I just, like, the harassment people like, stuff that I didn't know. I saved all her research and I sent it to my lawyer. And again, this was, like, before I had my daughter's so in August. So a big up cat. Cat was, like, was the reason Trisha lands down. But, um, you know, she did write an article about how, like, my, like, this is, like, the worst Reddit she'd ever seen. The worst subreddit. And subreddit, or... Reddit replied to her and just like was like, well, we're looking into this or something. And that was before she was born too. That was like early September. I think the article came out, and I do appreciate the article. Like that's someone who obviously was also not very nice to me or going with taking something and turning it into something else. Like taking like a few jokes I made and now I'm automatically labeled as something. Like, girl, even if the jokes are in good faith, they still apply. I'm sorry, especially when you made them within the past year. I'm sorry, that's just a fact. Sorry. Like, sorry. It was humble, but I mean, something. It, it's. But, yeah, save yourself from this tangent, queen. Um, that writer was also, like, it was, if I'm being real, if I'm being super real, the most hurtful thing of all, and I feel, like, comfortable talking about this now because I won't get, like, ridiculed over there. Of course, I'm going to come back with another Reddit because they were deleted before, I think. there was like, Before I kind of knew about this, they were, like, a different Reddit, but didn't have as many followers. Um, but the worst thing of all was being accused of lying about something that, like, very serious happened to me when I was younger. And they tried to disprove it. And when another person came forward and said, yeah, like, I, I have, like, that same experience. We were in the same class. Like, you know, I, I, we always heard similar things. Like, this is what happened. This is, you know, all stuff like that. Trying to explain it. The person brings back a bullet off the internet. They were accused that person of being me. And that person just, like, went away because they were too scared of the backlash, which it is scary. The backlash is scary on there. Um, and this was someone that I hadn't talked to since we were in middle school together. Since we were 12. So, 22 years. And this person came out. So, she's and talking and about the Mr. Is it Mr. Riney or Mr. Riley? Uh, one of the one of the two names I forget, but it, it, she's currently talking about that. In that one, so that was a real person. People proved it was a real person, and there was a lot of people that did see it. That did see it, and it was crazy. But because one person decided, oh, this is a lot. Everyone went with it, and it was so traumatizing to me last year. Like, it was really traumatizing, and there's a lot of things because I was like, you know, there's like a lot of things to say, but like, and I don't want to like even go back into it because it's just like I decided for myself this year that I was especially with the friend I was that I'm not gonna go. I'm not going to always defend myself on the internet and, like, try and prove everything. Because at the end of the day, it's exhausting. And at the end of the day, people are just, they're always just, like I said, there can be concrete evidence. There can be another person that comes forward. There can be another person that says, yeah, this is actually the truth. It could be blatant. Like, this, like, it was almost like, even the pregnancy. She's lying about pregnancy. Oh, she, who's going to, who's going to guess that she's going to do this? There was even theories that my sister was carrying my child, in, or, or carrying a baby, and I was going to take that baby and say it was mine. Like, they were wishing the worst. They were wishing that I would have all the stuff during my pregnancy. They were wishing miscarriage. They were, like, wishing the worst. They were wishing that I had a difficult labor, a difficult fourth trimester. Once I gave birth, and I was like, oh, she's going to, the depression, like, wishing just the worst. And wishing that my baby was taken away. Like, it was vile. It was vile. And some of these people make videos and show their face online. And there's a lot of people that follow this and just, like, spew this nasty, untrue rhetoric. And it was crazy with a lot for so long, but I am so happy. Like, so anyways, I, I wouldn't even say happy, but I am happy because it's, it's more of a relief. When I, when I heard that it was gone today, I was like, it's a relief. Because I mean, I can't even imagine how she feels because everything, well, a lot of what she's saying is completely true here on what they were doing. And you can only imagine that, you know, being sad about yourself and like, yeah, I mean, I complete, I completely get it. I completely get it. I really do. You know what? I do get a lot of love and positivity and I have people that moderate um, this channel and the ASMR channel. I'm honestly, I should have someone moderate my blog channel. Um, because it just feels a safe space. Because so many people are like, you know, I'm scared to comment because, you know, I get so much hate. And now I feel like that fear is gone a little bit. You know, they're not going to have this sub that, like, looks into your background and expose you, you know what I mean, for being a supporter. Like, it's literally like, people who are just supporting me would get exposed on, on there. So, huh. I, I don't know if I should thank Reddit. I mean, it's been a long time, but I'm thankful that the Reddit is down. I'm thankful that Reddit, they take something seriously if it's the copyright. Because, you know what? I do put a lot of work in my videos. I post a lot. 
it goes a lot because the YouTube climate has changed and I'm trying to adapt to it and still make my income, still make my living. And I work really hard. And it's probably the hardest I've worked in a long time. Because, yeah, I'm not like fancy negative, but I spend hours and hours and I upload hours and hours of content daily to YouTube. So it's, you know, the copyright. I agree with her. Um, because they re-upload every single video within an hour of me posting. And people would go there just to hate and not give me the views or whatever. And again, it's like, if you want to hate, come watch the channel. Like, I don't know what to say, but... You know, I hope the people on there can, like, reevaluate. I know there's people who've been on there and like, wow, that got nasty. Obviously, that one journalist like, was on there a lot and wrote that article and wrote other articles about it because she took for what they they went as, like, this is the truth, you know, whatever. This is, we're investigating this, even if it was something completely made up. Like, those people did not go to school with me. Those people did not write in my childhood. So, like, how dare anyone that wasn't there in my childhood in my, in, even in that class, like, another one of my classmates came forward and stuff like that. Even, like, how dare anyone say I was, like, lying about something like that. That's so crazy. And again, I can, like, defend myself. There's so many things, like, oh, lying about this, other It's like, I just don't have the energy or time and then it just doesn't serve any purpose that people are going to hate me, but I hope those people can like reevaluate their lives for real. Like if you were someone hating on a baby, like disgusting. And if you think, if you don't like that I'm posting my channel online, like why are you reposting it? And that goes for anyone on YouTube too. People who so, like hate on me for sharing my family, fine, your opinion. But if you go ahead and share photos of it, like you're just as like, it, it's honestly what, like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, oh, I don't like that she posts wait. her like child online. So let's just make fun of this child and harass the child. And also, like, it's. So here we go. Here we have another inconsistency in what she's talking about. So if we break it down, Reddit, she's saying, if you have such a problem with me uploading my baby, then why are you doing it? Well, they're censoring your baby. You're not. YouTube drama channels. I think most YouTube drama channels, including myself, if there's a title or a thumbnail, the baby's face is censored. Hold on. Let me actually prove this because I could be called out right now, but I know that I care way too fucking deeply about this shit to mess up with this. Let me go to the last video I've ever made referencing that. Oh, there we go. So I have no idea what she's talking about, or at least just talking about me. There we go. Censored. So what she's saying here, let me see if there's another one. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. Oh, yep. So what she's like saying for the most part, I agree with, but then there's just things where she like fucking lies and again, I know she's not just, like, strictly talking about me there, whatever, like that. Like, she's talking about it in a very broad sentiment. Let me see if there's another one. But she is saying a lot of very inconsistent things. Oh, I think that's it. I think I've only made two. Hold on, let me check. Have I? I think I've only made two. Yeah, and even whenever we did it about Ned and Ariel, look at that. Baby's blurred. It's that easy, Trisha. You don't need to put the fucking face online every single fucking thumbnail to get the clicks. It is possible to not do that. Yeah, that's the only ones I've made. So, again, there's a lot of inconsistencies in what she's saying, and there's a lot of straight-up lies. But I do agree with her for the most part, and I'm trying not to be too nitpicky. I'm just relieved. I'm just relieved. And I avoided talking about it for a long time. And look, there's no way I could go on there and like, read that stuff. Like, I used to, when I was younger, go on like, there was like a group gospel that was kind of the same. Oh, Trisha was and a school member school. on Guru Gossip. Like, I know that for a fact. Like, look, it was a specific user who posted videos and report them, you know. And Trisha was like an avid member of Guru Gossip, which was like basically like snark reddits on people, and she would engage in that shit all the time with all different YouTubers. So again, she was a part of basically a Trisha Land at the time, which is. If someone sent me like a link of someone talking about my child or something, I tried to report it, but they weren't doing anything about it. But I'm thankful. I'm so so thankful that that Reddit is down. And that Reddit takes something seriously, and again, the copyright. The copyright I'm thankful for that because I do put a lot of work into my videos and a lot of time to shoot them, to edit them, to upload them, all of it. Um, and again, thank you guys. There are so many supporters that, like, honestly, I just focus on positive. Even during my pregnancy, you know, of course, I would see that stuff and I would just, you know, focus on the good because there's so much more good online. And when I say there's like, there was like 40,000 people over there, which doesn't seem like a lot, right? That's not like a lot, but it, it is, is a lot like, of people. people. And for all the people that either don't know about it, great. I'm so happy you don't. For those who did, and, like, just ignore it. Thank you. For those who did, and just excuse me about it and report it. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Like, that's very cool because. You know, like I'm, I'm working, I'm, I'm working on myself, right? I'm a work in progress. I'm really trying to change. And there are people who like want to keep you in that bubble and don't want you to change. And then there's people who just don't really hate you. That just, that just incites so much hate. Like it's crazy. Like just, I only remember the guys like they thought they were trying to protect my daughter. Like it, it, it became scary. Like the fact that they thought they were one trying to hold me accountable by just making fun of the way I look and the way my husband looks. Okay, what? <laughs> there's so many things. There's so many things you want to come for me for for my past or whatever. Like come for those. Why are we come for those? Second, if you think you're trying to protect my daughter, like why are you? Not seeing her house. Why are you wishing for her house to go away or the school she'd go to? Like it's it's scary that, but like the delusion was real there. The delusion was real. They, I really think they thought they were trying to protect, which is scary, which is scary unto itself. Um, so I'm just thankful for this day, November fourth. I'm thankful for this day that I have some sort of relief and some sort of peace of mind. 
um, because again, like it's, you know, you just ignore the best you can, but there's always that looming thing. And I know so many Reddits are so hateful and I don't, I just found out about Reddit, like I said, about a year and a half ago. And I don't know if it's always been like this. Um, my husband, he's known about Reddit for a while and he said it wasn't always like hateful like this. Like it kind of like became a newer thing where people just come on there to hate or something. I don't know. But I hope that they, you know, continue to take this seriously for everyone. I, I think it's a really big victory and a really big feat. And so many people are kind of shocked that my, that Reddit was taken down because Reddit just aren't taken down. I know people who really fight hard that have that connection. I have no connections, but people on managers have connections that try and take their Reddits down because of so much hate and they just don't get taken down. But I do think there needs to be stricter rules in place. Like even if, if they post photos of like minors and blur out their faces, if there's like, if they're like inciting hate or showing where they live, like that's, I don't know. I think that there should just be, especially when- I think there's an important conversation to have here about what Shane Dawson again, someone we don't really like, but Shane Dawson said that he will never post his child online because he's such a hated figure that he knows that people will push that off onto his baby as well. And I think, I'm sorry, Trisha should have gone by that same logic. You set your entire YouTube career up off, off of hate and you know that you are such a hated figure and you've played into it for 15 years and just having a baby doesn't change that. And again, in no way am I endorsing anyone saying anything even remotely negative about a child. Never, ever, ever would I do that. Trisha has a responsibility to protect her child. And is she protecting her child by uploading it online? No. No. She knows what her reputation's like. She knows what her audience is like. No, she's not. Like... I feel like she knows that as well, but makes a lot of money, so. There's no parental consent for that. It's, it's crazy. So parental consent. So she doesn't want anyone exploiting her baby except for her. Okay. But I'm like, like, seriously, I still feel like a little shaky about it because it's just, it's, it's just a relief. It's been, it's been. It's been brutal. It's been really difficult. And I've been on social media for 16 years and never have I experienced the doxing, the harassment, the the just downright hate, just wanting to like, it's not just bringing me down, bringing me off social media. It's just like trying to destroy it, like literally trying to destroy my life in every single way. I'm sorry. Everything she's saying at this part is true. That's what this came across as. Super like really sick people. I mean, that's where the whole thing started with, oh, Moses and her sister, my husband's my sister. Then it became, oh, her husband is the one taking care of her baby. You mean the father? A father taking care of his child? It, it was, it was, like, it was insane. It was insane. The fact that they're, like, calling Dior to see if they sent me a baby package, like, I was, like, and it, like, it freaked me out. Like, watching someone make that call and, like, this person on customer service being, like, what the heck? Like, there's people I text all the time. It, I won't even say the moment, but there's, like, malls where, like, I text all the time for the ones you have, for the Dior, whatever. It's, like, <sighs> and the fact that they're, like, they're just, like, they're just hateful. They're just so, so mad at, like, what? That a father's taking care of his child? And I don't know, I don't know. And, like, it really is, like, sad. And I'm not even trying to be anything. It really was just sad. So that's why I'm saying I hope now some people can, like, see the light. Because like, I, I have seen people be like, yeah, I was on that. And they, like, actually are kind of, like, scary. And it's, like, it's just embarrassing. And some of these people, like, I would say it's kids. It's not really kids. It's, like, middle-aged people. Supposedly some that have kids. I don't know. But really just looking for anything wrong, too. Like, it, it, I'm, just, I'm so relieved. And I'm so thankful. Thankful, thankful, thankful. Grateful, grateful, grateful. And, um... Like, I think someone for the support through pregnancy and through this, like, it's made me love social media again, made me excited about social media again, and, excuse me, this is just like, um, I don't know, just kind of like this <sighs> sign of, like, I don't know, that everything is okay, and that, like, I don't know, I just had a lot of emotions, and yet I can't articulate all of them, but I'm just, the biggest one is grateful and relief and peace of mind, and, um, if one thing all of that hate actually me is, like, I'm the last person to judge anyone. I'm the last person to talk about anyone. Because I don't need to, even if people say, oh, don't send a hate mom, don't do that. Like, if you're talking about someone in a negative way or making, like, really harsh criticism or even getting information wrong or spreading lies or whatever, like, you're inciting this hate. That can actually be really dangerous. And that's what's scary is that one day the hate or the doxing or, like, it can just go a little too far. And, and that's the scary thought. So, I don't know, hopefully... And I don't hate any of them, by the way. I don't hate any of them. Like I said, I feel sad and I would I would kind of hint at it in videos, like like talk about it a little bit. Or I'm like, I was a hateful person too. Like I really hated my life and I hated 
the position I was in and I would be jealous of others. I would see other people get married and be happy. And I never even want to sound like being a nasty comment. I just never got, like, what's the point about really okay. time. But I would hate watch people. And, like, I understood it because... Okay, okay, like, okay. And then she goes into talking about the same thing we've heard all the time about, I used to be a hateful person. I try not to be blah, blah, blah. All right. I agree with her for the most part, but I can't agree with her fully because there's a lot of hypocrisies and... Very ironic moments, I will say that. But I want to know your opinion of it. Let me know. We'll talk about it down below. I'm okay. We'll talk about it down below. My goodness. 40 minutes of filming does this to my brain. I love you. Thank you for watching. My second channel is linked down below. Please go join by subscribing and join the Facebook group. Mix them up. Wow, I'm a mess at the end of this video. I love you. I'll see you in my end. I'll s oh my god. I was doing so well the entire video. I had to fuck it up in the last minute. Facebook groups down below if you want to join. Second channels down below if you want to subscribe. I will see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye. <laughs>